Today we're trying out this Intex DuraBeam Deluxe Airbed. So did a little research on air mattresses, went to Amazon, found out this was one of the most popular ones and thought, well, let's buy that and do a video review uh, because apparently it's pretty good because what we've been using are like two inexpensive mattresses, uh, really cheap mattresses that uh, in the middle of the night they deflate, there's no air in them and that's no good at all. So this one is an, a twin size, 18 inch. And I think you can have like a 12, 24, maybe 18, you know, as well. I'm not sure the sizes, but there was different sizes to choose from twin maybe full or queen or something but one of the things i think we're going to like about this most is it has an internal pump so that means that no more of these and god forbid you know back when i was a kid it yeah, was yeah yeah back when i was a kid you had to use bike pumps well back when i was a kid i had to blow it up with my mouth well, back when i was a kid we just had to lay on the cold hard ground anyway we are going to open this up and see how it does Okay, so pretty simple, obviously. Here is your deflate, inflate. We inflate by going that direction. We leave it that way by that one. And then we go that way to deflate. So let's look at it. It's got a little door there, it's nice. And then everything just stores away right in there. Now, we're gonna plug it in and go for it here so let's do it Well, that was a lot quicker than doing it like I did when I was a kid. So now let's check out and see how comfortable it is. Well, here's our first two testers. How's it feel? Good. Good. Yeah. You could sleep a night or two there. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what a bigger person feels like. Okay. How's it feel? Good. Good. Now your feet come, you're obviously a, a average size. We'll say 5'11 in that range. Your feet are there and your head is there. I think this is 72 inches long, but uh, you're pretty much filling it up. If you're taller than that, then your feet's gonna hang over or you're gonna have to look at a different option. But it looks and feels comfortable. The true test is gonna be sleeping on it, which you are volunteering to do, right? And we'll see if it stays inflated and if he sleeps good and how it feels. So one of the things I don't like about it is the height. 18 inches is nice because when it comes to getting up, it's so much easier than the other ones that we've been using that start out at six, eight inches, whatever, and by the middle of the night, they're like zero. So getting up is more like rolling and, you know, uh, vigorously, uh, it's like an Olympic event. And so this makes it a lot easier. And they had one that was even uh, higher than this one, but this one feels good because it's easy to get up uh, and down. Now, obviously I haven't laid on it yet, so uh, we're gonna give it a shot. And it feels nice laying here, but the true test is going to be sleeping on the thing and that's going to take a little time. So when you come back, we're going to give you the lowdown on how it slept. Okay. It's dark. Let's check on it. All right. In for the night. You all right? Yep. Okay. See you in the morning. See Hopefully morning. it's still there. Yep. All right. It's morning time. Let's check it out. All right. It didn't lose air. <laughs> so, you sleep good? Yeah. 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 I mean, we're not talking like bed here, right? Like official bed. But if we're out and about, if we're camping, oh, no doubt better, right? Yeah. Hopefully. Okay. Well, all right. Good. It held air, stayed yeah. up. Of course, you know, time will tell on it, but for now, for now, it's better than what we've been using. And uh, so let's see what it's like when we deflate it. So deflate it, we just plug it back in and then turn it counterclockwise and then it sucks the air out. <laughs> Do 
Okay, so we got our wires put in the storage compartment that's closed. Now this, we're gonna fold it up and put it in this bag that was included with it, which is nice because it's got a drawstring on it, handles and everything. So the instructions say one thing. We have figured out that there's a better way, at least in our opinion. So we're gonna fold it. The instructions just say fold it in half, roll it up. But to get it all in the bag, we're gonna do it this way, like a burrito, right? And then we're going to do that, and then we are going to put it in the bag. So. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so there we go. Nice. Well, we've just had it one night and obviously we want to just show you what it's like open the box, inflating it, what's involved, you know. So like it, like it a lot, time will tell. Uh, maybe we'll do an update, but I mean, for the money, it was like $50. Um, that's not too bad. Uh, so we're willing to take a chance on that, but we like it. It's a lot better than what we've been using for sure. And uh, you know, obviously you could spend hundreds of dollars on these things, but for the money, I could see why it's one of the uh, Amazon Choice products. So anyway, hopefully this helps you make your next purchase.